So, a lot of Ruby people, they see my Ruby videos and they go, Steph hates Ruby. He just hates Ruby. So, let's see. Does Steph, that's me, does Steph really hate Ruby? Well, I don't know. Let's see. I just pulled a few books off my bookshelf. Here's one book. Now, you know, I don't know. Would I spend 50 bucks on a book if I thought it was crap? I don't know. That's one book. Oh, geez. Here's another book off my bookshelf. Jeez. Steph hates Ruby. He thinks Ruby's crap. I don't know. Oh, look at this. Oh, another book off my bookshelf. Wow. Steph thinks Ruby is crap. You see, I don't think Ruby is crap. I actually think Ruby is a very cool language, and I think Rails is a very cool framework. Would I learn it today? No. And that's not because I think this technology is no good. It's actually really good. It's just because it's losing favor quickly. All the hipster nerds are moving into the JavaScript and the JavaScript stack, Node.js, Express, etc. And the legacy guys, the PHP guys for small businesses, they're not going anywhere, and Ruby, Ruby Rails is, is sinking as a result. Now, I'm not saying it's going away tomorrow. It's not going to be Flash, but it's, it's, this, it's just not something I would jump into at this point. That being said, they're great, very productive. Well, Ruby's a very productive. It's a great language. It's, uh, it's fun writing Ruby code, no question. Kind of reminds me of Python in some ways, although it is very different in other ways. Uh, and Rails is, uh, Rails is one of the most important frameworks in the history of modern day development because of the structure. Now, Rails is no longer uh, heads, and, heads, above, heads and shoulders above the other frameworks out there. What happens, Rails came out, they uh, stirred up a lot of stuff in the development community and as a result, all the other uh, languages came out with Rails-like frameworks as well. In the PHP world, it's Laravel. In uh, the Python world, you have Django and Flask. I'm not saying they're copies of Rails or exactly like Rails, but you know, Rails had a major influence. And Rails once had a huge advantage, but it's no longer the case. As I've said many times, all the modern programming languages all have their pros and cons. And they all have their, uh, they're all very capable. You can produce great apps in any of the modern languages. Doesn't matter. I just say Rails, Ruby rather, and Rails Framework, it's fading. It, for whatever reasons, it's fading. And I actually had predicted it years ago. And uh, so if you're getting into it, freelance, it's PHP. Uh, secondary freelance, I would go with uh, the JavaScript and uh, Node and so on. Uh, if you're going to do uh, machine learning, AI, Python. Anyway, I've discussed this in many other videos. So I just wanted to uh, dispel this myth that somehow I felt that uh, I was uh, crapping over Ruby's, uh, Ruby because I thought it was a bad tech. No, no, I don't. I think it's got its great things, and I think it's got its bad things like every other language. It's just I, as an entrepreneur and a software developer and coder, always pay attention to market forces, as should you.